Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to build a React accordion component from scratch in this tutorial. You will learn how to create a reusable accordion component with React hooks and Tailwind CSS. You will also learn how to add functionality to open and close the accordion sections, as well as how to render multiple accordion items dynamically from an array of data. First let's import an empty folder in VS Code then create React app using Vite. We also need to set up Tailwind's flowing the setup guide lets. Do need two icon images. When we've done the setup, let's create the fact component. The fact component uses two state variables, plus and show. A state variable is a way of storing data that can change over time in a component. The plus state variable is initialized to true and indicates whether the plus icon or the minus icon should be displayed next to the question. The show state variable is initialized to false and indicates whether the answer should be visible or hidden. First create a div element that wraps the whole component, a div element that contains the h1 element that we need to display the value of quation and a conditional rendering expression that displays either a plus icon or a minus icon inside the button depending on the value of plus. Another conditional rendering expression that displays a p element of the value of answer if show is true in the app. J's let's pass some questions and answers and the GSX elements will be div element that wraps the whole application. A div element that contains h1 element that displays the title of the accordion component and a div element that wraps the accordion items and a conditional rendering expression that maps over an array of data called fakinfo and renders a fact component for each item in the array a conditional rendering expression that maps over an array of data called fakinfo and renders a fact component for each item in the array. Then the fact component takes fakinfo as as a prop, assign the key prop the value of f a q dot id assign the h1 fact quation. Now let's create the event handler function, we call it handle click, and what this function does is it changes the state variable with the opposite value of plus. This means that if plus is true, it will call set plus false we using this state, because of the plus or minus icons which one will be shown, and also the show state that decides if the answer will or will not be shown now, we done the functionality let style using Tailwind's classes.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the process. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for the source code.